Hey guys, I'm making another video in the Google Photo series to talk about how you can free up some space after you've backed it up on the cloud. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say cloud backup and things like that, please watch the first three videos in this playlist. The links to these videos will be in the description box below the video. If you don't understand, please watch that one and then this will make more sense. Once you've finished backing up your photos on Google Cloud, you can go ahead and free up some space. Notice I didn't say delete your photos because according to the app, the word delete is telling the app that you don't want to see these photos ever again. Not on your phone, not on the cloud, not anywhere. That's what it means to delete. So if you delete these pictures manually, then you're telling Google Photos that you don't want to see these pictures ever again and you lose them. Instead of doing that, once you've backed them up, you have to free up some space. In order to be crystal clear, let me discuss briefly which app I'm using when I say photos and what storages we are dealing with. When I say photos, I mean Google Photos. That's this logo, the one with this paper thing that you used to run around in your childhood, remember? Depending on which phone you use, you already have an app which manages photos. That's not the one we're talking about. If you are using an iPhone, this is what it looks like, the Photos app. If you're using Android, you'll have one of these several apps. Uh, sometimes they call it images, sometimes gallery, sometimes photos, and so on. But we are concerned with Google Photos. Go ahead and download it first, uh, <laughs> then this will make sense or else uh, it won't. <laughs> to briefly explain the two storages that we are dealing with, one, I will term it phone storage. That's the storage in your phone. Now, don't, don't confuse this for internal or external storage. I mean, the entirety of the storage on your phone is phone storage. Now, iPhones come with 8, 16, 32, 64 GB storage and Android phones come with the similar similar numbers, but some Android phones also have an external storage that you can use an SD card to extend the storage on your phone. I will term this entire thing as phone storage. The second storage that we are going to deal with today, I'll call it the cloud. I don't even know why they named it that. It's not stored on the cloud, it's stored on Google's servers somewhere, but they call it the cloud and that's what I'll call it for this video. It is the storage that Google offers to you to save all of your photos. Open Google Photos first of all and the app looks similar on Android or on the iPhone. If you select the pictures that you've backed up and hit delete, that's the delete by the way, it's gone. Don't do that. To free up space, just hit menu, that's the three bars and free up space. When you do this, what Google Photos does is it compares the photos backed up on your cloud with the photos on your phone. And if it's already backed up, it deletes it from the phone. If it's not backed up, it leaves it on the phone. Now, I need to warn you, if you do this, it's literally deleting the pictures from your phone. It's no longer on your phone, but it's on the cloud. To browse these photos, you'll need a really good Wi-Fi connection to show it to your friends. Otherwise, you can't really browse it even with the best 2G and mediocre 3G. But if with good Wi-Fi, you can. Now that is sad, but it's not as sad as having a good camera and not having any space for that new vacation you're going out to. I've had friends with this problem and they choose, they even choose to delete some of their memories because they want to take more. In this case, it's better to not have it on your phone, I have it somewhere else and take more pictures. Now, in my phone, I can have pictures for the entire year because I have 64 GB of storage and I take a lot of photos. But if your phone doesn't have 64 GB, despite having paid twice as much, then use Google Photos. There, as simple as that. Once you've done that, you've freed up some space on your phone so you can take more pictures. One final detail. Remember we made this choice between high quality and full quality? Now, when you delete your pictures, if it was a really good camera, like one of those top-end Android phones or iPhone, then um, the quality of those images are very good. But when you put them up to Google, it will compress it. 
Now, I have tried to upload it to Google and download the compressed version and compare it with the original. And to be honest with you, there is a difference. But you can't say otherwise. When I say otherwise, I mean you use it to share it with your friends and use it as a memory. It's fine. But comparing it just to the original, it doesn't zoom in as much. It loses some detail. To fix this problem, I'd suggest that you back up your photos to your hard disk drive first and treat that as your primary backup and use Google Photos just as a just-in-case secondary backup. This way, if your hard disk crashes, you still have your memories at not the best quality, but they are there. As I've told you before, I have several backups of my pictures because they are the most important media for me. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys, and I hope this has been helpful. Keep learning.